Hello students! I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to Pre-Calculus! Our third lesson is all about ellipse. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng isang ellipse? Okay, so an ellipse is a bounded curve which looks like a flattened circle. Or in short, yan yung uh, madalas natin tawagin bilang oblong. So just like parabolas, ellipses have reflective properties that have been used in the construction of certain structures. So definition of an ellipse. We consider the points f sub 1 whose coordinates are negative 3, 0 and f sub 2 at point 3 and 0 as shown in the figure. So questions, what is the sum of the distances of a from f of 1 and from f sub 2? How about the sum of the distances of point B from F sub 1 and from F sub 2? So as you can see, given the answer, the sum of the distances of point B from F sub 1 and F sub 2 is equivalent to 10. So if we will measure also the sum of the distances of point A from uh, this point A from F sub 1 and F sub 2, ang sagot lang din ay 10. Kung i-measure din natin using the distance formula, ang sum ng distances ni point B from F sub 1, F sub 2, at ni point C from F sub 1 and F sub 2, ang sagot lang din ay 10. Okay, papaano yun? Uh, para mabigyan kayo ng klarong understanding about this, you watch this video. So here it is. As you can see, uh, yung A ay yung distance dito sa part na to distance sa part na to yung A at yung B ay sa part naman na ito. So if we try to move this point P kahit saan yan yung distances ni point P and F sub 2 at ni point P and F sub 1 which is R sub 1 and R sub 2 laging 10 change yan kapag may iba or babaguhin natin ito. Kung yung A ay 6, as you can see, 6 na siya, and then yung B ay 4, if we try to move this one, kahit anong, or kahit aling point dyan ni ellipse, ang laging sagot ay 12. Yung sum ng distances ng point na yan towards F sub 2 and F sub 1 ay laging 12. Kapag babawasan naman natin ito, if we will make it 3, uh, ang magiging sagot niya ay 12 ay magiging, let's say, 8, 16 na siya. So, any point on the ellipse, if you try to measure the distances from point P to the foci, focus 1, focus 2, ang laging sagot ay pareho, 16. Understood? So, again, the sum of the distances from point P to F sub 1 and the point P to F sub 2 is always constant, hindi nagbabago. Okay? Understood? There are other points P such that the distance between the, that point from the F sub 1 and F sub 2 is equal to 10. The collection of all such points forms a shape called an ellipse. So, let's refer to this figure. Let F sub 1 and F sub 2 be two distinct points. As you can see, F sub 1 and F sub 2. The set of all points P whose distances from f sub 1 and f sub 2 add up to a certain constant is called an ellipse. Okay? The points f sub 1 and f sub 2 are called the foci of the ellipse. So given our two points on the x-axis, f sub 1 and f sub 2, the foci both c units away from their center. So the figure is here. Let the point P, X, Y be a point on the ellipse. Let the common sum of the distances B to A. The coefficient 2 will make computation simpler. So it is in the definition. P, F sub 1 plus P, F sub 2 is equal to 2A. So we have P, F sub 1 plus P, F sub 2 is equal to 2A. So let's now derive the standard equation of an ellipse with center at B. Origin. So the derivation of the standard equation of an ellipse with center at the origin is quite long. Okay, so 
uh, I will just uh, create another video for its derivation. Okay? The standard equation of an ellipse with center at the origin is x squared all over a squared plus y squared all over b squared is equal to 1. Properties of an ellipse with center at the origin. As you can see, it is already labeled. Uh, f sub 1, meron siyang c, a, b, and then w sub 1, w sub 2, b sub 1, b sub 2, f sub 1, and f sub 2. So, center is at the origin. The value of h is 0, the value of k is 0. The foci is at points negative c0 and c0. So, take note, each focus is c units away from the center. So, c is the distance from the center to any of the uh, focus so again uh, since we we are measuring the distance walang negative na value laging positive yung c for any point on the ellipse the sum of its distances from the foci is 2a then the third one the vertices which has coordinates negative a0 and a0 dito and then and on. The vertices are points on the ellipse, collinear with the center and foci. So, isang line lang sila ni uh, foci at ni center. They take or they are on the same line, collinear. If y is equal to 0, then x is equal to positive a or negative a. Each vertex is a units away from the center. So, as you can see, if 0 c y, c x ni vertex ay either negative a or positive a. At bawat vertex daw, it is a units away from the center. So, ang distance ni center at ni any of the vert vertices ay a. Since we are measuring the distance, laging positive din si a just like uh, c. The segment v sub 1, v sub 2 is called the major axis. Its length is 2a divides the ellipse into two congruent parts. As you can see, the distance between V sub 1 and V sub 2, yung segment na to, ang tawag dyan ay major axis. Bakit siya major? Kasi siya ang pinakamahaba. Mas mahaba ito as compared sa axis na ito. Okay, the major axis is this one. At yung length nito ay 2A. Bakit siya 2A? Uh, yung part na to ay isang A, yung part na to ay isang A. A plus A is 2A. It divides the ellipse into two congruent parts. As you can see, para uh, mirror mirror nito yung side na ito. Okay. The covertices, which which has coordinates neg uh, zero negative b and zero positive b. So, ito naman siya w sub one w sub two. The segment through the center perpendicular to the major axis is the minor axis. Uh, minor siya kasi mas maliit. It meets the ellipse at the co-vertices. It divides the ellipse into two congruent parts. So, itong part na to ay mirror siya ng side na ito. If x is equal to 0, then y is either negative b or positive b. Each co-vertex is b units away from the center. So, ang distance ni w sub 2 or ni w sub 1 kay center ay laging b. And again, as uh, similar kay A and C, since distance din si B, it is always positive. The minor axis, W sub 1, W sub 2, is 2B units long. Since A is always greater than B, the major axis is longer than the minor axis. So, bakit siya 2B? Uh, itong part na to isang B, yung part din na ito isang B, B plus B is 2B. So, anong napapansin ninyo? Uh, yung mga terms na... Yung mga nauna, yung may V sub 1, F sub 1, and W sub 1, sila yung may nasa negative part. As you can see, nasa negative part na to, nasa negative na side, nasa negative na side. Yung sub 2, may mga sub 2, W sub 2, F sub 2, and B sub 2, sila ay yung nasa uh, positive na side. Okay? Bear that in mind. Example number 1. Give the coordinates of the foci vertices and co-vertices of the ellipse with the equation x squared all over 25 plus y squared all over 9 is equal to 1. For the solution, watch this video. 
this example, we will give the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices of the ellipse given in the equation x squared all over 25 plus y squared all over 9 is equal to 1. So, uh, automatically, uh, ito yung value ni a squared, ito yung value ni b squared. Okay, so, we have a squared is equal to 25. So, para maalis or makuha natin yung value ni a, so, we... Uh, take the square root of both sides so mga cancel na yan, we have a is equal to 5, so bakit lang 5 you can consider natin e, ang square root of 25 by positive but negative 5 lang since uh, we are measuring or we are looking for the value of a which is length, okay walang length na negative, so we have this one is b b squared is equal to 9 uh, we obtain the square root of both sides para maalis yan yung square we have b is equal to 3 so again, bakit 3 lang din? kasi b is length, walang negative na length so, for us to obtain the value of c uh, we use the formula b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared and then, we derive the formula for c we transpose negative c squared it will become uh, positive c squared then a squared minus so this will be negative b squared so uh, we have a squared a is 5 so 5 squared minus b is 3 b squared it will give us 25 minus 9 so c squared is equivalent to 16 so para makuha natin yung value ni c we obtain the square root of both sides so it will give us C is equivalent to 4. Bakit 4 lang din? Kasi uh, C is length. Walang negative na length. So, we already have the values of A, B, and C. So, malalaman na natin, makukuha na natin yung foci, yung vertices at co-vertices ni ellipse. So, how are we going to do that? We substitute the values of A, B, and C in this, in these uh, formulas. So, we have F sub 1 is uh, negative c and 0 we have f sub 2 is c and 0 the vertices b sub 1 we have negative a and 0 b sub 2 is a and 0 and then the co-vertices we have 0 and negative b and then the second co-vertex is 0 and positive b so substituting a, b, and c here so our answer will be our foci is f sub 1 is at negative 4, 0 and f sub 2 is 4 and 0 our vertices we have v sub 1 is at negative 5, 0 and v sub 2 is at 5 and 0 and our co-vertices we have w sub 1 is at 0, negative 3 then the second co-vertex is at 0 and 3 so, so this is the case if given yung uh, standard equation whose center is at the origin okay as long as we know this uh, pattern, we just substitute the values of A, B, and C para makuha natin yung foci, vertices, at yung co-vertices nila. Okay? For the second example, refer to the figure, find the standard equation of the ellipse whose foci are negative 3, 0, and 3, 0, such that for any point on it, the sum of its distances from the foci is 10. For the solution, watch this video. So in this example, we are asked to find the standard equation of the ellipse whose foci are uh, at point negative 3, 0 and 3, 0 such that for any point on it, the sum of its distances from the foci is 10. Okay? So, ito yung given information. Anong kailangan gawin? Malam naman natin na yung value ni yung part na to, it takes the form f sub 2 is c and 0. So, Basically, alam na natin yung value ni C. The value of C here is automatically B equal to 3. And then, 
sa part na to, alam natin na ito, uh, ito yung form na P F sub 1 plus P F sub 2 is equal to 2A. So, therefore, we can equate these two para makuha yung value ni A. So, doing so, we have 2A is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 2. So, we have A is equal to 5. Okay na ba? Hindi pa. Kasi ang standard equation natin, it takes the form x squared all over e squared plus y squared all over b squared is equal to 1. Para makuha natin yung standard equation, kailangan pa rin natin yung value ni b. So, we already have the value of a, the value of c. Para mahanap yung value ni uh, b, we use the formula. So, we try to write here. Solving for b, we have b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. So, we get the square root of both sides para makuha yung b. b is square root of a squared minus c squared. So, ano yung a? a is 5. 5 squared is 25. And then c, c is 3. 3 squared is 9. So, we have b is equal to square root of 25 minus 9 is square root of 16. Or b is equal to 4. Okay, so, therefore, our standard uh, equation for the ellipse described, uh, we have x squared all over a is 5, so we have 25, a squared is 25, plus y squared all over b is 4, 4 squared is 16, is equal to 1. This is our answer. More properties of ellipses. Some ellipses have their foci aligned vertically, and some have centers not at the origin. Their standard equations and properties are given in the box. Ellipses with center at the origin. So as you can see, horizontal, uh, horizontal siya, ang kanyang denominator ay, yung denominator ni x ay a squared o yung mas malaki na number. Kung vertical naman siya, ang denominator ni uh, x ay yung mas maliit, which is c, b squared. Take note ha, laging mas malaki si a as compared kay b. So, kung ang denominator ni x ay yung mas malaking number, it is a horizontal ellipse. Kung yung denominator ni x ay yung mas maliit na number, it is a horizontal or it is a vertical ellipse. Okay? Same is true here in the ellipses with center at hk. Uh, kung ang denominator ni term na may x ay mas malaki, it is a horizontal ellipse. Kung yung denominator ni x ay yung mas maliit, which is b squared, yun ay vertical ellipse. Okay? Ito naman yung uh, table of formula na uh, pag-referan ninyo kung hindi nyo memorize or if if hindi nyo ma-memorize yung mga formula na ito, okay, pwede nyo siyang balik-balikan. Okay? Important observations. In all four cases above, A is always greater than B, and C is always square root of A squared minus B squared. Okay? The foci F sub 1 and F sub 2 are C units away from the center. Laging positive si C. The vertices B sub 1 and B sub 2 are A units away from the center, laging positive din si A. The major axis has length 2A. The co-vertices are B units away from the center, laging positive si B. The, the minor axis has length 2B. Remember that, for any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 2A. In the standard equation, if the x part has the bigger denominator, the ellipse is horizontal. Take note of that. Kapag mas malaki yung denominator ni x, horizontal yung ellipse. On the other hand, if the y part has the bigger denominator, the ellipse is vertical. Example number 3. Give the coordinates of the center, foci, vertices, and co-vertices of the ellipse with a given equation. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we will give the coordinates of the center, foci, the vertices, and co-vertices of the given ellipse. Okay, so x plus 3 squared all over 24 plus y minus 5 squared all over 49 is equal to 1. So, para malaman natin kung 
ito ba ay vertical or horizontal, we take a look at their denominators. Since nakita natin na yung mas malaking denominator, which is 49, ay denominator ng term na mayroong y, this is definitely uh, a vertical ellipse. Okay, so this is a vertical ellipse. So we follow the formula for the vertical ellipse. So definitely a squared is equivalent to 49 and b squared is equal to 24. So by the way, we can immediately identify the value of the, the center since uh, alam naman natin na yung h laging nakapair kay x at yung k laging nakapair kay five. Okay, so our uh, center here is at point negative three and positive five. Okay, this is our our center. So bakit negative three siya? Kasi positive yon. Okay, kapag positive yung nandoon, we consider the negative counterpart. Kapag negative yung nandoon, we consider the positive counterpart, which is 5. So, moving on, we have solving for A. So, we square, we take the square root of both sides. We have A is equal to 7. And then, square root, square root, this is equivalent to B is equal to uh, positive factors of 24, 4, and 6. Or that is... Uh, square root of 4 times 6 or that is 2 square root of 6 okay so para makuha yung C we use the formula B squared is equal to A squared minus C squared or transposing this one it will become C squared is equal to A squared transposing positive B squared it will become negative B squared so solving for uh, solving for C, we have um, C is equal to square root of A squared minus B squared. So we have uh, A squared is what is A? A is seven. So seven squared is forty nine. Then B squared what is B? So we have two square root of six squared. So simplifying further we get 49 minus we have 4 2 times 2 is 4 and then square root of 6 squared is 6. So 4 4 times 6 is 24. So definitely 49 minus 24 is 25. The value of C here is, uh, is equal to 5. Okay, so we already have the necessary information. Meron na tayong body ni C, meron na tayong body ni B, at meron na tayong body ni A. Okay, so we already have the necessary information, the value of A, B, and C. So, para mahanap yung foci vertices and co-vertices, we use this formula, and then we just substitute the values of A, B, and C that we obtained. Okay, so... Doing so here, we have f sub 1 is the value of h is negative 3. Then k minus c, we have 5 minus 5 is 0. And then f sub 2 is the value of h is a negative 3. So by the way, the center is negative 3 and 5. So definitely h is 3 and k is 5. Value of h is negative 3. And the value of k is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Bakit siya plus 5? Kasi k plus c, ang value ng c ay 5. For v sub 1, we have h. h is negative 3. And k minus a. So we have 5 minus 7 is negative 2. For the second vertex, we have h is negative 3. And k plus a. So we have 5 plus 7 is 12. And for the co-vertex, the first co-vertex, we have h minus b. So we have negative 3 minus b. We have negative 3 minus 2 square root of 6. And k is 5. And then for the second co-vertex, we have uh, h plus b, negative 3 plus 2 square root of 6. The value of k is 5. 
So therefore, our center is at point negative 3, 5. Our foci has have these coordinates. Yung coordinates ng ating vertices ay ito. At yung coordinates ng ating co-vertices ay ito. Okay? So, foci, our vertices, and our co-vertices. Understood? So, these are our answers. Standard to general form. So, paano nga ba mag uh, rewrite ng isang standard equation ng ellipse to its equivalent general form? So, the standard equation of an ellipse is x minus h squared all over a squared plus y minus k squared all over b squared is equal to 1. To transform it to its general form ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0, we follow the following steps. First, identify the LCD or the least common denominator, then multiply it to all the terms of the equation to get rid of the denominators. Second step, we expand, then combine similar terms. Then we rewrite it in the general form by writing on the left side of the equation of the equation symbol the squared terms, followed by the unsquared terms, then the constant term and zero on the right side. Example number four, convert the following standard form to general form. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we will convert the given uh, standard equation of an ellipse to its equivalent general form. So how do we do that? We identify the LCD. So the LCD is 25 times 9. We have 225. So bakit 225 yung kanilang LCD kasi si 25 at 9 wala silang common factors. So para makuha yung LCD we multiply the two numbers. Okay, so 225 times this one we have understood na may one yan. So in multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and then the denominators. 225 times y minus 2 squared we have 225 then y minus 2 squared all over 25 because 25 times 1 is 25 plus 2 to 5 times x minus 3 squared we have 2 to 5 and then x minus 3 squared all over 9 times 1 is 9 is equal to 1 times 2 to 5 is 2 to 5 so pwede i-cancel ito ang may e1 ay 9 at ito ang may e1 ay 25 so we have 9 times y minus 2 squared then plus 25 times x minus 3 squared is equal to 225. So we expand this binomial, square of binomials. We have 9 times the product of y minus 2 squared is y squared minus 2. Uh, 2 times 2 y is 4. Sorry, this is 4y. Then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Then plus 25 then the product of this one we have x squared minus 3x times 2 is 6x plus negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 is equal to 225. Distributing 9 to all the terms here, we have 9 times y squared is 9y squared, 9 times negative 4y is negative 36y, then 9 times 4 is that is 36, and then 25 times x squared is 25 x squared. 25 times negative 6x is, uh, is negative 150x. Then 25 times 9 is positive 225 is equal to 2 to 5. Same sign, same number. Mag-0 na yan kapag ita transpose and to any of the sides. Kaya we disregard na lang. So, uh, arranging the terms, yung x yung mauna, followed by y, we have 25x squared plus 9y squared minus 150x minus 36y plus 36 is equal to 0. This is our answer. Understood? 
second item will convert to general form the given standard equation of the ellipse uh, represented by x minus 1 squared all over 100 plus y plus 1 squared all over 36 is equal to 1. So first, let's identify the LCD. Okay, so ano yung process na sinap tinuro ko dati? The LCD, uh, we try to rewrite the denominators into their prime factors. Ano yung factors ni 100? Uh, 10 times 10 or we have 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 and then si 36 factors niya we have 9 times 4 or 2 times 2 pinagtapat kung may factors sa taas na magkapareho ipagtatapat itatapat doon then kapag walang kapareho uh, wag itapat afterwards uh, i magdulo tayo ng lines and then i bring down natin yung mga numbers na yan. So, 2 times 2, times 5, times 5, times 3, times 3. So, as you can see, kahit magkapareho, once ko lang siyang sinulat. So, magdodraw ng vertical lines and then, ibibring down tigisa yung mga numbers na yan. Okay? So, if we multiply this, ang makukuha natin ay 900. So, that means, our LCD is 900. So, we multiply to both sides. 900. Understood na may 1 yan. 900 times x minus 1 squared is 900 times x minus 1 squared. All over 100 times 1 is 100. Plus 900 times y plus 1 squared is 900 times y plus 1 squared. All over 36 times 1 is 36. Is equal to 900. So, ma pwedeng simplify itong may iwan ay 9. Pwedeng simplify ito ang may iwan ay 20. So, we can write this one as 9 times x minus 1 squared plus 25 times y plus 1 squared is equal to 900. So, we expand the binomials, the square binomials, we have 9. x minus 1 squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 25. We have 9. y, y plus 1 squared is y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 900. Next step, we distribute 9 to all the terms. Inside the parenthesis, we have 9x squared minus 18x plus 9. And we, we, we distribute also 25 to all the terms. Inside the parenthesis, we have 25y squared plus we have 50y plus 25 is equal to 9. 100. So, we arrange na yung mauna ay x followed by the uh, y. So, 9x squared plus 25y squared minus 18x plus 50y then plus 34 minus 900. Kasi itatranspose yan nung may iwan ay 0 sa right side. So, simplifying further, we get 9x squared plus 25y squared minus 18x plus 50y minus 866 is equal to 0. This is our uh, general for our answer. Understood? Converting general form of an ellipse to its equivalent standard form. In order to rewrite a given general form of an ellipse to its standard form, we use the completing the square method. Then, divide both sides using the constant term on the right side of the equation symbol to make it equal to 1. Then simplify afterwards. So this is somewhat familiar kasi nagamit na rin ito kay parabola at kay uh, circle, yung completing the square method, but in a different manner naman dito, in different process. Example number 5, convert the following general equation to standard form. For the solution, watch this video. So in this example, we will convert the given general form of an ellipse to its equivalent standard form. Okay, so as you can see, uh, wala siyang term na x, wala siyang term na may y, ang mayroon lang terms na may x squared at term na may y squared. So, kapag nakita mo ganyan, automatic na ang kanyang center ay nasa origin 
that means no need to use the completing the square method. So, gagawin dyan, yung constant term, uh, gagamitin natin yan, we divide the entire equation using that term. So, automatic ang mga i1 dito ay 1. So, 288 divided by 9 is 32. And, 288 divided by 8 is 36. That's it. This is our answer, the standard form of the ellipse given the general form. Okay? In this example, we will convert the given general form of an ellipse to its equivalent standard form. So, uh, mayroon na siyang term na may unsquared x and unsquared y. So, we will be making use of the completing the square method. So, first step, we re regroup we re regroup the terms in such a way na lahat ng may x ay magkakasama at lahat ng mga may y ay magkakasama. So, 3x squared, tatabi natin sa kanya si plus 24x. And then, plus 4y squared, tatabi natin si negative 16y. And then, uh, ililipat natin ito from positive 52 to be negative 52. So, May common, factor sa, may, may common factor sa kanilang dalawa, which is 3. So, ilalabas natin yung 3 na yan. And then, ang may iwan dito ay x squared. And then, 24 divided by 3 is 8x. Then, plus, may common sa kanilang dalawa, which is 4. So, 4y squared divided by 4 is y squared. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And then, we affix y equal to negative 52. So we try to complete the binomial here to make it a perfect square trinomial. So doing that, we add here uh, square of half the coefficient of x which is 8. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. That's 8x plus 16. Then plus 4. We have here y squared minus 4y. So, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 equal to negative 52. So, here is a challenging part. Kailangan yung maintindi na ito para hindi kayo magkamali. Since, nag tayo ng 16 doon, pero meron pa rin siyang 3 dito, we uh, multiply 3 and 16. Yun yung i-add natin dito. Okay, so, plus 3 times 16. Then, same, same, same process, nag tayo ng 4, pero may 4 pa rin sa labas. So, we multiply 4 and 4, yun yung i-add natin sa kabila. 4 times. Naintindihan ba? Kasi, kung, kung ang i-add natin ay 16 times 3, para lang din tayong walang in-add. Okay? Pero kapag ang i-add lang natin dito ay 16, how about the 3 outside? Mamamali na yung sagot. Okay? So, since perfect square trinomial na ito, we try to factor out, factor it out. So, we have x plus 4 squared plus we have 4 times y minus 2 squared is equal to, this is negative 52 plus 16 times 3 is 48 plus 4 times 4 is 16. So, Simplifying this, we have, we just bring down 3 times x plus 4 squared plus 4 times y minus 2 squared is equal to negative 52 plus 48 plus 16 is equivalent to 12. So, para mag-1 yung nasa right side, we divide all sides by 12. So, 3 all over 12 can be, sim can be simplified as 1 all over 4 and 4 all over 12 can be simplified as 1 all over uh, this is 1 all over 3 is equal to 1 so this is our answer the equivalent standard form for the given general form of an ellipse. Understood? Example number six. Give the coordinates of the center, foci, 
vertices and co-vertices of the ellipse with a given equation. For the solution, watch this video. So in this part, we will give the center, the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices of the given ellipse in its general form. So since it's general form, pa siya, we try to transform it first to its equivalent standard form. So how, how are we going to do that? So, we used to completing the square method, but before that, pagsamayan muna natin lahat ng uh, mag, may magkaparehong variable, lahat ng may x pagkatabihin. So, we have 9x squared minus 126x, and then plus 16, y squared plus 64y is equal to 71. So, uh, ilalabas natin si 9, we have 9, and then x squared negative 126 divided by 9 is uh, negative 14. Then we just affix the variable x. Plus, ilalabas natin si 16 kasi ang may iwan dapat na coefficient ni uh, squared. Yung term na may squared na variable ay 1. Kaya, uh, ilalabas natin si 16 ang may iwan ay 1y squared or simply y squared. 64 divided by 16 is 4y is equal to 71. So, we complete this binomial to make it a perfect square trinomial. So, i-add natin sa kanya yung square of half the coefficient of x or yung square ng kalahati ng negative 14. So, x squared minus 14 plus negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Then plus 16 times we just copy y squared, that's plus 4y, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so plus 4 is equal to 2. So we add here 71 plus yung 9, tas isa times natin yung 49, so 9 times 49, and then plus 16 at 4, 16 times. Simplifying further, we get, this will be... We can factor this out immediately. We have x minus 7 squared plus 16 times y plus 2 squared is equal to 71 plus 9 times 49 is 441. Then 16 times 4 is 64. Simplifying further, we get we just copy this one x minus 7 squared plus 16 times y plus 2 squared is equal to 71 plus 441 plus 64 is 576. Para mag-1 yung nasa right side, we have, we divide all sides by 576. 576, 576. So we have, this can be simplified. 9 all over 576 is equivalent to 1 all over 64. So we have x minus 7 squared all over 64. Plus 16 all over 576 can also be simplified. It is 1 all over 36. So we have y plus 2 squared all over 36 is equal to 1. So this is our standard equation. Yan na ba yung sagot? Hindi pa. Kasi we will uh, be determining the coordinates of the center, the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices. So we already have the standard equation of the ellipse. So, uh, by looking at the denominators, uh, since mas malaki yung uh, denominator ng term na may x as compared kay y, so we can say that this is a horizontal ellipse. Okay? Horizontal ellipse yung nahanap natin. So, definitely, Ang, ang kukunin natin na, or ang ipafollow natin ng mga formula for the foci, the vertices, and co-vertices ay syempre yung nandoon sa may horizontal na ellipse. So, the center here, automatic na ang center natin ay, we have 7, kasi negative siya. Positive ito, the, we consider the negative counterpart, which is negative 6. The foci, we have f sub 1, ang formula niya ay, h minus c in k, and f sub 2 is h plus c and k. Our vertices, we 
have e sub 1 is h minus a and k. e sub 2 is h plus a and k. And we have here co-vertices. We have w sub 1 is h and k minus b. Is k minus b. And w sub 2 is h k plus b. So, uh, let's figure out first the values of a, b, and c. So, let's do it. We have here a squared is equal to 64. Solving for a, we have a is equal to, this is h. So, b squared is equal to 36. Solving for b, we have 6. And solving for c, we use the formula b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared, or transposing negative c squared, it will become positive c squared. Transposing positive b squared, it will become negative b squared. So, solving for c, we will get c is equal to square root of a squared minus b squared. So, substituting a and b, we have 64 minus 36, that is square root of 28. So, factors are 4 and 7, or that is 2 square root of 7. So, we already have the values of A, B, and C. So, ano nang next gagawin? We substitute these sa mga formula na ito. So, the foci, the first foci is H minus C. So, we have 7 minus 2 square root of 7. 7 minus 2 square root of 7, and k is negative 2. So second foci, we have uh, h plus c, we have 7 plus 2 square root of 7, and the value of k is negative 2. So saan yung h? 7. Saan yung k? Negative 2. The first vertex, we have h minus a, 7 minus a is negative 1, and then we just copy k, which is negative 2. Second vertex, we have h plus a, 7 plus 8, we have 15, and k is negative 2. The co-vertices, we have k is 7, k minus b is negative 2, minus 6 is negative 8. And the second uh, co-vertex, we have 7, h is 7, and a plus b is negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. Okay, so our answer will be this one, the center, and the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices. Understood? Example number 7. The foci of an ellipse are negative 3, negative 6, and negative 3 and 2. For any point on the ellip ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 14. Find the standard equation of the ellipse. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we will give the standard equation of an ellipse given its foci and the fact that for any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 14. Okay, so let's identify first what type of ellipse is this. As you can see, Kung ipaplat natin ito sa Cartesian plane, suppose here, yung negative 3 and 2 na sa ang part yan. So we have 1, 2, 3, 1, oh, 1 and 2. So nandito yung uh, f sub 2 natin at yung negative 3 and 6, we have negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nandito yung uh, ating uh, f sub 1. So definitely, ang ellipse na ito ay since uh, vertically aligned yung kanyang foci, this is a vertical ellipse. Okay, vertical ellipse siya. So, how are we going to uh, give the standard equation? So, mabibigay natin yung standard equation if we have the center, kung may center tayo, at kung meron tayong values ni A at ni B. So, how are we going to find the center? So, syempre, yung center ay yung midpoint ni uh, dalawang focus. 
midpoint ni Fosai. So we try to figure out the midpoint of this one. So papaano kunin yung uh, midpoint nilang dalawa? Of course we use the formula. So we write here solving for center. The midpoint formula is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So doing so, we have negative 3 minus 3 all over 2 and negative 6 plus 2 all over 2 or that is negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 and then negative 6 plus 2 negative 4 negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 this is our center ito na tayong center so kailangan na, na, kailangan na lang natin is yung value ni A and B so given yung information na to alam naman natin na uh, yung sum for any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is equivalent to 2a. Pwede natin itong i-equate kay 2a, yung 14. Okay? So, we have here, solving for a, we have 2a is equal to 14. Saan nakuha yan ito? So, yung definition natin, p times f sub 1 plus p times f sub 2 is always equivalent to 2a. Since equivalent ito kay 14, in-equate natin silang dalawa. Divide both sides by 2. But A is equal to 7. And then, for us to find the value of uh, C, kasi given yung focus at yung center, malalaman natin yung value ni C. We try to measure the distance between the center and any point, any any of the foci. Okay, paano natin may measure yan? Siyempre, we use the distance formula, pero since vertical yung uh, ellipse natin, we can identify the distance, how? By considering the y-coordinate. By considering the y-coordinate. So, ano yung coordinate ni, y-coordinate ni negative 6? Ni, ni uh, f sub 1, we have negative 6 minus the y coordinate of the center it is negative 2 so doing so we have negative 6 plus 2 or that is negative 6 negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 or that is positive 4 therefore our c is equal to 4 so para malaman natin yung value ni b we use the formula this solving for b we have b is equal to square root of a squared minus c squared so the value of a is 7 7 squared is 49 the value of c is 4 4 squared is 16 so that is square root of 33 since meron na tayong center, yung value ni A at ni B, we can substitute that na sa ating uh, standard equation. So, ang ating equation ay x minus h squared all over b squared plus y minus k squared all over a squared is equal to 1. So, bakit ang denominator ni B, ay, I mean, ang denominator ni x ay B, yung mas maliit, at yung denominator ni y ay si a, yung mas malaki. That is because our ellipse is a vertical ellipse. Okay? So, substituting h and k, we have x negative times, negative times negative is positive. 3 squared all over b is square root of 33. If e square natin yan, matanggal ng square root symbol, we have 33 plus y minus k. Negative times negative is positive, so y plus 2 squared all over a is 7, a squared is 49 is equal to 1. This is our answer. Understood? Example number 8. An ellipse has vertices 
2 minus square root of 61, negative 5, and 2 plus square root of 61 and negative 5. And its minor axis is 12 units long. Find its standard equation and its foci. For the solution, watch this video. So in this example, we will, we will give the standard equation and the foci of an ellipse given its vertices and given the fact that the minor axis is 12 units long. Okay, so in the, in the previous example, uh, yung foci natin, nakita natin na hindi na bago yung first element niya which is negative 3. Kung ang foci at ang vertices, kapag nakita natin kung given sila at hindi nagbago yung first element nila, it is a vertical ellipse. Take note of that. Kung yung foci at yung vertices natin ang given at hindi uh, nagbago or magkapareho yung kanilang first element, uh, ibig sabihin it is a vertical ellipse. On the other hand, kapag nakita natin na yung... Uh, yung second element naman nilang hindi nagbago, yung second element nila ay pareho, it is a horizontal ellipse. Again, kapag ang foci at vertices, kapag nakita mo na ang second element nila ay pareho, it is a horizontal ellipse. So, looking at this example, since hindi na bago yung second element natin, this is a horizontal ellipse. Horizontal, horizontal siya. Understood? So, papaanohan natin yung center. So, definitely, uh, we try to obtain the midpoint of the two vertices kasi yun yung center natin. Okay? So, doing so, we have uh, the formula sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So, we have 2 minus square root of 61 plus 2 plus square root of 61 all over 2 and negative 5 plus negative 5 all over 2 so that will give us mawala na to 2 plus 2 is 4 all over 2 and then this will become negative 10 all over 2 or m or our center will be 4 divided by 2 is 2, negative 10 all over 2 is negative 5. This is our center. Okay, so, ang next na natin, we try to figure out the values of A and B. So, how are we going to find the value of B here? Since yung minor axis, yun yung pinaka mas malit na axis ng ating uh, ellipse, at yung mas malit na axis nandoon yung B, uh, we have minor axis equivalent to 2b. So 2b is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 2. So we have b is equal to 6. So, para mahanap si a? So, since yung vertex, vertex natin nandoon yung value ni a, so paano mahanap yung value ni a using that? So, we make use of the, the center. Since yung a, yun yung distance between the center and uh, any of the vertex. So, we have A is equal to, since uh, horizontal yung ating, ano, horizontal yung vertex natin with the center, we just make use of their uh, first coordinates, okay? The distance between their first coordinates, kasi pareho naman sila ng second coordinate. We have 2 minus square root of 61, and then minus 2. So, maalis na yan. We have the absolute value of negative 61 is, we have A is equal to square root of 61. Okay, so, therefore, our standard equation is uh, x, what is h? 2, x minus 2 squared, all over, uh, we have square root of 61 or 61. Kasi squared naman siya, maalis na agad yung squared symbol. Plus y plus 5 squared all over. b squared is 6 squared is 36 is equal to 1. Ito yung sagot natin. And then, other than that, kailangan pa natin kung yung si foci. So, para mahanap yung foci, we, we need the value of c. Okay, so... 
how are we going to find the value of c we make use of this formula b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared transposing negative c squared it will become positive c squared transposing positive b squared it will become negative b squared square root square root so we have c is equal to a is square root of 61 we have 61 then minus 36 that is square root of 25 or c is equal to 5 since vertical sha ang ating foci ay we have h minus c so h minus c is 2 2 minus 5 is negative 3 and we just copy the value of k which is negative 5 and the second foci the second focus h plus c 2 plus 5 is 7 and we copy the value of k which is negative 5 here are our answers understood Example number 9, an ellipse has vertices negative 7, 0, and 3, and 0, and cove vertices negative 2, 3, and negative 2, and negative 3. Find its standard equation and its foci. For the solution, watch this video. This example, we try to give the standard equation and the foci of an ellipse given its vertices and cove vertices. Okay, so, uh, as I said, in the previous examples, kapag magkapareho yung uh, x-coordinates o yung first element ng ating mga vertices, it is a vertical ellipse. Pero kapag magkapareho yung kanilang uh, second elements, it is a horizontal ellipse. So definitely, this is a horizontal ellipse since magkapareho si second coordinate sila, which is 0. Okay, so how are we going to figure out the standard equation? Uh, malaman natin or magbibigyan natin yung standard equation kapag alam natin yung center, yung value ni A at ni B. Okay, so para mahanap si center, we use the midpoint formula. We have negative 7 plus 3 all over 2, 0 plus 0 all over 2. So we have negative 4 all over 2, 0. Or the, the, the center, the midpoint or the center is at negative 2 and 0. This is our center. So how, how can we solve for the value of A? We look here. Okay, so yung value ni A dyan ay yung distance between the center and any of the vertices. Okay, so pwede mong gamitin yung V sub 1 at ito to measure the distance. Pwede mong gamitin si V sub 2 at ito to measure the distance. So, we have A is the absolute value. Since, bakit gagamitan natin siya na absolute value? Kasi we will just consider the first elements. Kasi same naman sila ng uh, second coordinates. So, yun yung process kapag nagsasob ng distance ng uh, isang vertical or ng isang horizontal line. Ng horizontal line. Okay? So, how are we going to do that? We have we consider negative 7 minus the value of the first coordinate of the center. We have negative 2. So that is negative 7. Negative times negative is positive. Positive 2. Negative 7 plus 2 is we have negative 5. Therefore, our A is equivalent to positive 5. So, para mahanap si B, we use this one, any of the co-vertex, any of the co-vertex and here, okay? So, how are we going to do that? We have, uh, this is the value of B, B is the absolute value of negative 3 minus 0. Doing so, it will give us negative 3. Or the value of B is, absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So, bakit naman ang consider I see uh, second element? Kasi pareho sila ng first elements. As you can see. Kaya yung i-consider natin ay yun. So, negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So, para mahanap natin si C, we make use of this formula A squared minus c squared transposing negative c squared it will become positive c squared we 
has a squared transposing positive b squared it will become negative b squared square root square root we have c is equal to square root of what is a 5 5 squared is 25 then what is b 3 3 squared is 9 that is square root of 16 or c is equal to 4 so therefore our standard equation is we have x minus h squared all over a squared since horizontal siya plus y minus k squared all over b squared is equal to 1 this will be negative 2 negative times negative is positive kaya x plus 2 siya squared all over a is 5 5 squared is 25 plus y minus k or just y y squared all over b is 3 3 squared is 9 is equal to 1 this is our standard equation and for the foci since horizontal shall we have h minus c and k and h plus c and k so we have our foci is h is negative 2 negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 and 0 at yung f sub 2 natin we have negative 2 plus c is positive 2 and 0 this is our foci so that is how we give the standard equation and the foci of an ellipse given its vertices and co-vertices understood for the activity do what's more on pages 54 to 58 and what i have learned on page 59 submission of all outputs will be on friday